Hello and welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. We get so many questions and comments here at Oak and Lamb about what sort of projects you can make with Cricut Joy. It's so funny because a lot of us found the Cricut Joy at a really great price or thought it was super cute and purchased it on a whim and then you bring it home and you're like, but what can I even do with this? It is small, so it's a little bit limiting, but what we love to do here at Oak and Lamb is give you some hacks for Cricut Joy. If you have not seen it yet, you can actually do print and cut with Cricut Joy. Check out that video for sure that we have created for you. We have so many members who have absolutely loved knowing that they can do that with their Cricut Joy. Another thing that I want to talk to you about, did you know that you can etch with Cricut Joy? Let's talk about how you can do that. So what you need to create this project is a Cricut Joy or any other Cricut that you have. We're just gonna be creating a stencil for our project. So on that note, you need a scrap piece of vinyl. This is just Starcraft matte black vinyl. You can see we have used it. It's a nice little scrap. And then I have some gloves. You can also use some safety goggles. And then I am going to be applying our solution with Q-tips. You can use cotton swabs or something else. We are going to be making pie servers. We're etching pie servers. And I'll give you a close-up look at these in just a minute. But we got these pie servers from Amazon. They are super affordable. And I really love this matte gold option. You'll see in just a second on the overhead that the contrast on the etching of, of it versus the silver is even better and it shows up really well and looks really nice. So click the link. All of this is going to be linked for you below, but the matte gold is right now my favorite. And then also this is the solution that we're going to be using to etch. It is called ferric chloride and it is linked for you below as well. And then we also have baking soda and we'll be using this to neutralize the acid after the etching is complete. You will need some water as well. So a sink or something like that so that you can rinse off everything and then remove your stencil after the etching is complete. But that's all we need for this. So let's jump over into Design Space, create our stencil really quickly, and then we will get to etching. Before we jump over into Design Space, let's take a look at what we're going to be making. I used this file. This is an Oak and Lamb file that I've manipulated just a little bit, added a little bit of text to, and you can see how cute it turned out on both of these. But like I said, the contrast on this one is really stellar. It looks really nice. Now that we've taken a look at that, let's create our file. So here in Design Space, you can see that our stencil is already created. And if you need a great video with details and instruction on how to create your own stencil, click this video here and watch it. It will answer all of your questions. The short lowdown on this is that you just need to make sure that you size your stencil to fit your blank. So I knew that I wanted my graphic to be 1.5 inches in width. It will fit really nicely on that pie server. And then I have my basic shape a smidge bigger, but big enough so that if I have some extra ferric chloride that seeps over or something like that, it's not gonna get on the pie server in places it's not supposed to be. So I've sliced the image and the text from this, and you can see um, there is a void there, which is what we want. And now we are ready to go ahead and click make it. I'm gonna be cutting this out on a mat, so I can press confirm. I'll press continue and connect to my Cricut Joy. Okay, I'm choosing the premium vinyl setting here, and now I will load my mat with my scrap piece of vinyl and let the Cricut Joy cut it out. Okay, now go ahead and weed your design. I love to weed on the mat. And you're going to leave this part of the stencil on there. So just pull out all of the center. Okay. 
And then we'll go ahead and add some transfer tape to this. Burnish it, and then we can remove the mat from the vinyl. Burnish from the back. And then we can go ahead and remove the backing and place our stencil on a pie server. So just one little hack that I like to do, if you are trying to place your vinyl on like this and you want this to lay down, I put a piece of tape on the bottom and tape it down so that it um, is, is good and flat. And then I'm just going to hover over this with my stencil. Don't touch it yet. When you like the placement, then you can lay it down. And then rub it really good with your fingers and a burnishing tool. You wanna make sure that all of the stencil has adhered really, really well. Because if it is not, then the ferric chloride will get underneath the stencil and you won't have those really nice, crisp lines. You don't want that. Now, let's go ahead and remove the transfer sheet and you can do a couple of things with this. I like to go ahead and reuse this. So I'm gonna just tape down the rest right here so this is covered. And you can see right here, I have a little bit of area that I didn't cover with my stencil. So we'll just cover all of that up so it is good and protected. And then we're going to put our gloves on and our safety goggles and we will put the ferric chloride on our pie server. I just dab a little bit on the Q-tip and then start rubbing like this. And then add more. It's actually very interesting. You can see it kind of wants to pull up instead of staying. So you just have to keep adding more to your Q-tip and dab around like this until the stencil is full. Now that it looks like that, you are ready to just leave it. We're gonna let it work for about 15 minutes. And then after 15 minutes, we will put the baking soda on it to stop the etching process. Okay, after 15 minutes, we're gonna take our baking soda and just sprinkle it on it. And you can see that it is bubbling up. That is what it's supposed to be doing. It's neutralizing it. And I, I just put some more on there, to be honest. Completely cover it. And then I'm gonna take this into the sink and just rinse it off. And once I rinse it off, I'll bring it back and we can remove the stencil. Now we can just go ahead and remove the stencil. And I found it easiest to grab a weeding tool to get off the extra little pieces that are hard to grab. And there we go. I do wanna point out that if you will take your Q-tip while during the 15 minutes that it is processing, if you'll take the Q-tip and just rub over the uh, graphic area the entire time, it kind of um, forces through the layers, the coating and things like that that are on it and you get a better etch if you do that. So um, like I said, just take, just take the Q-tip with the ferric acid already on it and continue to rub over it. Make sure that you're doing it gently so that you don't accidentally move any of the stencil. There we go, we made a cute etched project with our Cricut Joy. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gives you inspiration for other things that you can create with your Cricut Joy. Let us know if you have any questions by leaving a comment down below. If you're not a subscriber to the YouTube channel, go ahead and click subscribe so that you can get notifications. You'll have to turn those on as well, but you can get notifications every time we go live and post content like this. If there are other projects that you would like to see like this, let us know. We always want to create content that our members and viewers want to see. Also, click the link down below and discover what Oak and Lamb is all about. Become a member of Oak and Lamb and benefit from our entire library of cut files with free commercial use license and access to our private Facebook group where you get member-only content and lots of inspiration and help from members as well as us, the team leaders here at Oak and Lamb. 
Use the code Jingle, J-I-N-G-L-E, for $45 off the annual membership. The really cool part about using that particular code is when your membership renews every year, it will renew at that discounted price. We never do deals like this. So grab this discount code, grab the link, and become an amazing member here at Oak and Lamb. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you here another day for another video.